Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I will be teaching mom everything there is to know about the Gmail trash folder. What is the trash folder? How can you use it more effectively? How can you move emails to the trash and how can you do that in bulk to save time? How can you get back an email you might have deleted? And how, very important, can you free up inbox space by emptying the trash? We're going to be doing this on a computer. That's my favorite way to do this. So let's get started now. All right, the trash folder, deleting items and recovering items. That's what we're going to learn right now. It's quick and it's easy. Over here in your different folders in the inbox, if you click the down arrow, you will see your trash folder. Okay, now Gmail, what is the trash folder? That's anything that you've deleted or anything that you've set up as a filter to automatically end up in the delete, things like spam, end up in the trash folder. Now, the reason that Gmail doesn't truly delete these, you'll notice I have, oh wow, I haven't emptied this for a while. I have 16,222 emails in my trash folder. The reason that they don't delete these is because you may accidentally delete something. Something might end up in here that you need to recover. And so you can search the trash folder. It's really cool. You can search the trash folder for emails that you might have missed that you might need. Maybe you're looking for a receipt or an important business email or whatever. As long as it hasn't permanently been deleted from your trash folder, you can search that and recover that. So let's say that this was a uh, something important that I needed to recover. I could checkbox it and move it to a certain label, okay, and get it out of my trash can. It's a pretty cool feature because um, it comes in handy because a lot of times you'll accidentally delete something in, in haste and you might need it back. So again, we're in our trash can. Now every 30 days, whatever's in the trash can will be automatically deleted. Okay. In other words, if something's been in here for 31 days, it's going to get automatically deleted. But if I'm running low on disk space, I can select all of these by clicking this checkbox or select some of them. And if I want to select, again, this only selects the 100 conversations that are listed here. If I want to select all 16,000 in this case, I click select all. And then I choose my delete forever button. Okay. Now be sure you're ready to do this. This is why mine has 16,000 in it because a lot of times I don't bother um, deleting it because I know after 30 days it's going to delete them anyways. But if you're running out of space, you can free up a lot of space by deleting all of these. People think that when they've deleted it, they're done, but it's still actually in your inbox taking up space. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the trash folder. Just know that when you delete things, it goes into the trash can. It stays there for 30 days in case you need to recover it. If you need to recover it, you can go search for it or find it in the list and recover it so it doesn't get done. So it so it's back, so it's not lost forever. If you need to free up space or it just bugs you having a bunch of things in here, you can select all of the emails that are in your trash can and you can click delete forever and it will delete all of your messages. Now the reason it's taking a while for me is because I had 16,000 emails sitting in the trash can. So hope that helps. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, Check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.